building on our theme of offensive zone entry and puck support and such is going to be this third variation we call it a drop pass some people call it using a scissor method using scissors are basically players crisscrossing forces defenders to have to make decisions about which way and which player they're going to go which direction they're going to have to go which player they're going to take who's going to end up with the puck the big thing when it comes to making any type of scissors is that we don't want the players to be still moving north and south. We want to try to get them moving as east-west as possible. So what's going to happen here on this drill is that the puck once again will come out wide to our player entering the zone with speed. Need to gain the blue line with, this, with the puck first, then the player is going to cut directly across at a 90 degree angle coming towards the middle of the ice. Support once again, we've talked about it before, support has to come from behind. That player will enter the zone, which is the player without the puck. They're going to cross behind them. We're going to be looking at our players to use their backhands for all drop passes. Why our backhands? Well, a player cannot read what you're going to do off your backhand. It may look like you're going to be able to make a pass forward. It may look like you're going to hold on to it. So we're going to ask the players to use our backhand. The scissor come through, make a play onto the net. All right, here we go, Zach. <laughs> Ashley gains his own, cuts hard, drops it back, and through. All right, not bad. What we're looking for, you have to make sure here now, though, is that as they make this pass, the person who is offering the support for the puck, they have to come straight into the zone, then directly across. If they come in any type of teardrop motion, the defender's gonna be able to read it. We have to get a defender having to make a decision, do I move to the right or do I move to the left? And we get them caught in no man's land. Here we go. Okay, once again, you're seeing this. What I'm going to want the players to do is this. When they make this pass to Ashley, Ashley is working in straight lines. Enters the zone, cuts across. I need Riley here to make that pass and not start drifting towards the middle. We want Riley making that pass, coming straight up and then straight across, okay? Here we go. Well done, great play, excellent. Great shot on that one. Zach, remember this, Zach. You're gonna come straight. Don't drift to the middle. Straight down, straight across. Okay, here we go. Pass enters. She enters the zone, cuts hard, leaves it there for the player, and comes back. Now, one thing we've talked about, we're working on the theme of puck support, and that's been terrific. They've done a good job of that. But now we need to sell some deception, meaning that when this player comes across, we can't be automatically looking to, guess what, make that drop pass right away. We need to have our players looking up or looking at the net to try to sell the fact that the defender is not going to be able to tell what they're going to do with the puck. Okay? Here we go, gang. Excellent job. Remember, puck carrier, look off the pass. Here we go. Enters his own. Looks off, good play, shot, and boom. Great job. Cuts hard. All right, couple things. You saw that the puck carrier, as they entered the zone, had their head down. Got to be careful there. That's a dangerous, dangerous play. Coming into the zone, Matt's going to cut. Get your head up. Makes a play. Well done, and shot. Well done. Looking forward, here we go. Puck enters the zone, looking forward. Nice play, heads up, and shot.